Today we're looking at the King Bull Light Rider. And this bike is indicative of what you can get these days for not a heck of a lot of money. This bike is $9.99 and you know it's got what you're looking for. It's got a 48 volt 15 amp hour battery in this down tube here. Nice and integrated. It's got a 750 watt motor. It claimed to have a thousand watt peak and 80 plus 80 plus newton meters of torque. We're gonna find out. It has a seven speed um, system with a Shimano derailleur. It has hydraulic disc brakes, which is nice at this price point. In the back and front with 180 millimeter rotors. Okay, nice stopping power. It has suspension forks with preload and lockout. It has 20 by four inch tires, with some nice knobbies on it, that you could definitely do some uh, light off road with this easily. Uh, it does come with fenders, and these aren't cheap crap fenders, these are nice, these are nice fenders, with really nice metal arms. Uh, some fenders are pieces of crap, these are pretty nice. Um, it has horn, press this button here, and the headlight and taillight come on. Hard to see, but it's on, and it's on, okay? Uh, the bike does fold. I'm not gonna fold it because it's kind of a pain in the butt to do it right now with one hand. Um, it's not hard to do at all if you have two hands, but you flip this open, the bike folds in half, the pedals fold up, the handlebar comes down right here, and uh, 71 pounds, so, you know, if you're physically capable, you can certainly put it in your car, your trunk, your truck, uh, that kind of thing. Um, so you have this nice rack to uh, use some bungee cords and uh, you know put your bag, put your groceries, whatever it is. Nice comfortable seat. No rear suspension, but at this price point, that's not surprising at all. Um, here's the gear shifter. Um, the, it has a twist throttle. Okay. It's got five pedal assist levels. It's got the battery, the battery bar, how many miles you've gone, etc. Okay. So for this price point, $9.99, to have a um, to have hydraulic disc brakes is pretty nice. That's that's indicative of the price of bikes coming down, you know. Several months or even a year ago, this bike would have been about $1,600. So really nice price point. Good looking bike. I've reviewed another King Bull. Good bikes. Um, you know, entry level, but uh, you know, solid ride. And it's got the nice mag wheels, it's really cool. Okay. All right, people, here we go. Dead stop grass test. It's got some nice torque, people. Really nice torque, like no hesitation. Pulls you through really nice. Really solid brakes, people. Very solid. All right, we're gonna test this bad boy, see if she's got. Get in the way. Okay. All right, this is like a about an eight to ten percent grade coming up. We're gonna hit it with a dead stop from a dead stop. Okay, ready? All right. <clears throat> so we're going about twelve miles an hour. 13 miles an hour. And we're in pedal assist five. So it's pedal assist, it's pedal assist throttle assist basically. But in one throttle, you know, you it throttle only it goes only go in, let's say it goes 10 miles an hour. Pedal assist throttle assist two, it goes 15 miles an hour. It's kind of commensurate with the throttle and the uh, pedal assist. If you're going up this 10 miles an hour, no big deal. I mean, geez. 
Pretty easy, people. So it's got a nice, it's got some nice torque. They say 80 to 85 newton meters of torque. I'd say about right. And I'd say it peaks at about a thousand. 750 watt motor peaks at about a thousand. Okay. And oh man, for set for 999 bucks to get hydraulic disc brakes, that's badass. Just so you know, hydraulic disc brakes are way, way better than uh, mechanical disc brakes. Mechanical disc brakes slip. You got a stupid cord you got to pull through to tighten them. These things are basically, other than occasionally, maybe every couple of years, getting the bubbles bled out of the, the, the mineral oil line, you don't have to do anything. These things are brilliant. So if you can get your hands on hydraulic disc brakes at this price point, oh boy. It's got some power, people. We hit top speed at about 26. So it says it goes 28, but I'm like 220 pounds, so it's not surprising I only get to 26, but 26 is still pretty solid. Okay. That was throttle. We're gonna do pedal assist here in a minute and see what she can do. You can do it. Oh my god. Oh boy, we got the whole whole cycling community out. Look at this. One thing I can tell you is that cyclists don't like e-bikers. They just don't. All right, we're gonna try pedal assist levels. Pedal assist one, we'll put it in gear five. Okay, start slow. Pedal assist one, gear five. Going 10 miles an hour and I've got a little bit of help, not much. Pedal assist two. Got 13 miles an hour, a little bit more. Pedal assist three. Actually gear up a little bit. We can go 14, 14 miles an hour. Pedal assist four. It can go 16 miles an hour. The pedal assist five, and we're in gear seven, that's the highest gear. Pedal assist five, gear seven. We can go 20 miles an hour. So if you want to get up to 28, you gotta use throttle. Okay. I'm digging the horn, that's like one of the loudest horns I've ever had. Pretty badass. People can definitely hear you coming. Like what's way more powerful than some of those dinky little wait, 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 you know? Sounds like a dead duck. Nobody wants that. This this thing's got some some girth to it. Some power. Some breadth. Some size. You know what I'm saying, people? It's got some sound. Alright. One of my old little haunts. Now, 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 now. You gotta lift a freaking your bike over everything these days. There's always a stupid bar. Why is there a bar? What the hell's a bar doing here? Who put this bar here? What were they thinking when they put this bar here? Oh god. All right. Here we go, people. All right. Testing out the hydraulic disc brake. Nice. Very solid. Okay. Rip roaring people. We're killing it. Are you seeing this? Yeah, this thing can do this all day long. This thing eats up the trails. Look at this. Oh my God. So comfortable. So nice. A lot of grip. No problem at all. Oh, nice people. I'm digging it. Oh yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, people. Living large. Tearing it up. My God. Oh my god, we're like a little kid in a candy store. This thing's fun. 
Heck yeah. Heck to the yeah, people. Try a little gravel here in a second. See, I went down that and there was no clank, 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 clank. I hate bikes that do that. This bike actually does not have a lot of like loose parts and jiggling and all that crap. I hate that. I know a lot of it's the derailleur, but the derailleur must be tight then because I'm not hearing a lot of you know, jingling when you go down curbs and stuff. Everything's tight. Passes my tight test. Okay. We're going to try a little gravel. See what that's all about. Oh my god, I pulled air on that. So yeah, no big deal. Look at this. Easy. Yeah, this bike's got some capabilities, people. Fun little bike. Get yourself a $20 suspension seat post and you're rocking. You got everything you need. So this bike, you know, it's got what you need for uh so I'm gonna say with the seat down, step through. I'm gonna say this bike can handle 75.5 to about 6.4 maybe. Um, 6.4, you're gonna start getting a little uncomfortable. Um, you can use this for just about anything you can think of, people. From uh, going to uh, the store, throwing some groceries on the back, taking your uh, your work bag and put it on your back and riding to work, going to uh, the gym. Uh, you know, using the uh, putting your gym bag in the on the back rack with some bungee cords. You know, there's a lot you can do with this bike. Watch this. Yeah, even with the freaking gravel, you can stop real fast. Nice. Yes. 